Hey, any fish? It's the 10th of January, 2018, and uh, I was reading Ezekiel 8 again. Uh, I'm just completely being led to this particular chapter because, I mean, my spirit is just telling me there is there is a lot here to be, you know, a lot to be learned here, uh, and it pertains to exactly what's going on today. And again. You're going to have to read Ezekiel 8 and understand it for yourself. And everything I tell you, I can only tell you to take it to prayer, discern everything, and research it for yourself. I, I'm going to leave a ton of links for this. So, I mean, the research has already been done for you. I just am not the best at articulating these things to you. That's all. But when he tells him to dig into the wall, now they're at the temple now, and this is God giving Ezekiel these visions, and he tells them to behold the wicked abominations that they do, the idols of the house of Israel, the seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And he repeats these things over and over. See what they do, the ancients of the house of Israel, in the dark. Every man, he seeth us not, right? So there's your Isaiah 29, 15. So again, I'm led right back to the, the synagogue. And this time I was uh, led to count all the chairs and to study how this is laid out. And this is what I'm going to share with you in this particular video. If you look in this uh, synagogue and count all the chairs, both in the audience section and in the inner circle here, this little semicircle you have a hundred and eleven seats in total and once I got that figure it was obvious to me and I was literally just led right to where I had seen these things before and this is all related to the Kabbalah okay you have your Kabbalah tree your 10 10 10 and your 1 1 1 and the knowledge of learning and gaining throughout the your life essentially um, Kabbalah is very very ancient and very very Jewish and you can learn all about it they're they're eager to teach you about it um, again I'll leave all these links what is Kabbalah it is the soul of Judaism this is what they say and I will again I'll leave links for everything but the Kabbalah also has other uses and you know the 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 ones who attend the the synagogue essentially they're probably 98 percent well-meaning God-loving they sincerely seek the Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob but they're being deceived Okay, and that little tiny percentage, they're the ones that are doing the deceiving and they're the ones that are working for Satan. And hardly any of them even know it, but some of them do. And they work off of the Kabbalah tree. Now, there are many versions. The tarot emanates from the Kabbalah tree. Okay, you need to look into this stuff if you're so inclined. The two pillars. Jaquin and Boaz outside of the temple, which I believe is what was being referred to in Ezekiel as the abominations at the gate of the altar. I just don't see how God could approve of them. And he tells Ezekiel to go into and see the abominations that they do. And just for just for this video, because I just can't contain and show all of it to you. The 111 should just tell you that they're totally Kabbalists. And the way that these chairs are situated is very, very telling. Because if you look on the inner section here, there are two rows of four chairs at the very, very center of the, uh, the synagogue here. Right up towards the front, which is right here. You see these two rows of four chairs? Those, uh, plus the idol, because that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling that an abomination. They've gone in here more or less in secret, doing it right in front of us, though, because that's what they do. 
and they've created an abomination almost directly below where the holies of holies, the, the literal presence of God would be. And there's eight chairs and the one, nine. That's what's known as the Council of Nine. And if you don't believe that that's true, I just don't know what to tell you. But, I mean, simple wiki. If you do any digging into this, you'll find the real nitty-gritty details. But the Council of Nine is very real. It was to punish mankind, Zeus, and eight other deities gathered to form the Council of Nine. It's all here. And I, I will assuredly will link everything that I have, okay? And once again, to illustrate how they put it right in your face, check this out. Everybody has seen this. Everyone has seen the avocados from Mexico. So very funny, very comical, hilarious commercial. This is the level that they go, because it's so outrageous. Who would ever think that they're going to actually show you the truth in a stupid avocado commercial while they're mocking the living daylights out of you? It's just ridiculous. Nine. Okay? I'm just saying, this is how they work. And let's not forget, at the very same time that they were basically consecrating this thing, they were burning incense in a fashion that they have not done in 2,000 years, people. You need to understand that. And so we're looking at this synagogue here, and its situation is off the hook. And I have to point this stuff out. If you take the next row of chairs, it's very telling is 15. Two rows of four, two sets of two, and one row of three. 15 and eight are 23. 23 and the one, 24. What did Ron Wyatt tell us about Jesus' blood? 24 chromosomes, right? And I've shown you the date from when Ron Wyatt found that ark and the date that they consecrated the synagogue. 13131. And you just need to just look into these things to understand how unbelievable this is. Depending on the calculator that you use, I got this set so where it breaks it down into like to the millionth, to the hundred thousandth. So I get, if I just took a uh, regular uh, calculator and I took one, three, one, three, one, and I divided it by 13, the rebellion. 1010 76923 76923 76923 okay and you're not going to get that unless you use this type of calculator if you just use a, a standard calculator and do the same three the same thing and divide it by 13 you're just going to get your 1010 and what is your 1010 your 1010 is the bottom of your kabbalah See where I'm coming from? This is how it works, and this is how they do their work in the dark. Who sees us? Who knows us? It's my contention that these people, these whatever you want to call them, know that what Ron Wyatt found was real, and that it's going to be revealed because all things in the dark will be revealed. All things. And they're planning. They need to plan to either stop that information from getting out or debunk it or steal it or create some level of chaos, a war, a giant deception, if you will. Now, one more interesting thing. From the dedication of the temple and the burning of the incense to the blue blood moon, 44 days. Very important, once again. And I'm not going to get into the details, but this Kabbalah was reinstituted and reconfigured by this man right here. And now they work under a different system. And this is that system. And 44, the sacred number of Horus, is a big deal. They know what's coming. And they are up to it. They are certainly 
up to no good. I just can't tell you exactly what. And just just for the record, count another 44 days from the 31st, and it lands you the first, the last day of 5777. The last day. 44 days. And one last, last thing. I talk a lot about Ron Wyatt. And, you know, it, it's a spirit thing. And that's what the Bible tells us. I mean, is it John, 1 John 5, I believe. Not good with remembering scripture, but I believe that's where it tells us uh, his testimony in the earth is the spirit and the blood and the water. Okay? If you take Ron Wyatt's name, just Wyatt, and you just spell it out, and you look at it, this just was shown to me by uh, none other than the spirit itself. I just don't know how to put it. But you take the double U, which is the intersecting V, which represents the twin system that we are stuck in here. The 23 and 23, the yin, the yang, the iron and miry clay. You know the, the, the program. Then we have the Y, the Y chromosome. The one Y chromosome found in the blood of Jesus. Then we have the A. The A, to me, I'm looking at that as the Alpha, the Aleph, the one, 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 one. And the T, I see, I don't know how to really take that, uh, how I see the T, right here. The patriarchal cross, the double cross. Now, there are variants of this that you could, you know, they look like a double T, um, but this is what came to me first and foremost was the double T. So we got Ron Wyatt, the double, the double T. So <laughs> the, t the twin system, the Y is more than just representative of Jesus, but it's literally Y why you're here why this world is such a mess why jesus is the answer the a the alpha the leader power and the double cross i'm open to anything on what that might mean but that is what came to me first was the patriarchal widely used in the roman catholic church so I had to share that with you as well. I thought that was absolutely crazy. So, there you go. Much, much more to show you. Hope this blesses you. Hope this gives you some understanding. Seek Jesus if you have it. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 